I am a PhD student in medical engineering and medical physics through the Harvard MIT Health Sciences and Technology program. I'm studying using basically a non-invasive brain stimulation device to address pain and anesthesia in clinical settings, as well as controlling that device using machine learning. There's definitely the possibility that this work could be used towards something like a replacement for opioids. The more interesting problem, um, from my perspective at least, is that we've seen that basically people have old brains when they're older and younger brains when they're younger. And if you have an older brain, then the way that your body reacts to anesthesia is different. You tend to be a lot more sensitive to it. But some young people have old brains, and we don't know that until they have a surgical procedure that requires anesthesia, which can result in us giving them too much of the drug. And a lot of the young people who have old brains are people who have been addicted to opioids. So in developing this technology, we're hoping to have a better way of administering, controlling, and bringing people out of anesthesia, because currently... When you go under anesthesia, they just wait for your body to finish processing the drug, and then you're awake again. And so if you give someone too much, there's not a ton you can do to bring them back out. So ideally, this method would resolve issues like that, where there's someone that has an older brain for reasons that we may not fully understand, possibly connected to opioid abuse, and we'd be able to give them better care.